It's no secret that there are many perks of becoming a software developer, like the salaries, the flexibility, and other perks that tech companies may offer. But we almost never hear about the cost that it might take you to get there. So that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Hey everyone, my name is Dave and welcome to my channel. I quit my job in 2020 to pursue a career as an iOS developer without a computer science background. And so my goal in sharing some of these details with you is to encourage you to weigh the cost for yourself as best as you can before embarking on a journey to becoming a software developer or really any major life decision for that matter. So let's get into it. The obvious place to start with for me is the tuition cost for the bootcamp that I went to. So I attended Dev Mountain in February of 2020. And at the time, tuition was $10,900 and that included housing. But three weeks into the program, it went fully remote as you can imagine. And so they were generous enough to refund a portion of the tuition, bringing the total cost for me down to $7,900. Now the next cost is the income that I gave up in order to pursue software development. So I quit a pretty stable job at a company that was doing well. So it's safe for me to assume that I could have at least maintained that role and that salary. My last day working was February 14th and I started my very first developer role on November 30th, meaning that I made a total of $0 worth in income for 41 weeks. Yeah. Now take those 41 weeks and multiply it by 1250, which was my weekly salary at the time. And we can now add $51,250 to the total of what it cost me to break in. Now, sure, I don't have to pay that money out of pocket, you're right, but the point here is, is that I had that salary on the table and I chose to give it up in order to pursue this. The term for this that economists used is opportunity cost, and it's the idea that by choosing one thing, the true cost of that is any benefit or gain that you could have received by choosing something else. And it's actually a really important concept in software and product development. And then rounding it off with a few miscellaneous expenses, I spent $100 on an Apple developer license needed to publish apps to the App Store, $150 on online courses, and $1,500 on a new MacBook Pro because the 2015 MacBook Air that I had at the time just couldn't hang with the resources required to run certain Xcode projects. So with MISC expenses at $1,750, $51,250 in lost income and $7,900 in tuition. That brings the grand total financial cost for me to become an iOS developer to $60,900. That could have been a Tesla. That could have been a Tesla, like a, a Model S. Opportunity cost. It's also a good thing to be aware that there can be a lot of other costs beyond just the finances as well. And so I'm not gonna get into that for me, but because it is so difficult and so time consuming to learn the technical skills as well as learn and implement good job hunting strategies, there can be costs on things like your relationships or your ability to pursue other hobbies and passions and even costs mentally by things like getting rejected by hundreds of companies or feeling like you're not succeeding. Now, the point of this whole video is just to encourage you to really weigh the cost for yourself before diving into anything like this. I'm really not trying to discourage anybody from pursuing a passion or advancing their career. I think those are wonderful things. But what I am saying is that you should have a plan. Sadly, there are many people that don't really put this kind of thought or intentionality into a career change like this and only ever really consider the potential upside. Now, I did work really hard, but part of it too is just that I got lucky to land a job in such a saturated entry-level market. But even if it had taken me six more months longer to land a job, me and my wife had planned out our finances in advance to know that we would still be able to eat, still be able to pay rent because of the amount that we had saved over the years and because of the income that my wife had. And that gave me a massive leg up, I believe, to have that kind of cushion and that support going into it that I realize so few people have. And that's a big reason why I make videos like these is to help encourage and guide people through that process who may not be as lucky as I was. So to wrap this all up, $61,000 is a crazy amount of money, but I would absolutely do it all over again to be on the trajectory that I'm on now in terms of things like my current income, my income potential, with how engaging that the actual work is for someone like me and for future opportunities to make an impact on causes that I really care about and believe in.
There are tons of great benefits to becoming a software developer. So if it's something that you're passionate about, I think you should definitely try and make it happen. My channel is all about helping you optimize your path into software development because I believe that strategy is going to be critically important if you're trying to land your first role in such a competitive field. But the good thing is that strategy is one thing that's completely within your control. On my channel, you can find different playlists for things like job hunting tactics, software development boot camps, as well as developing apps for the App Store. So feel free to check those out. I really appreciate you watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.